Did you know that the average person spends over two hours a day on social media, often comparing themselves to others? If you want to find true happiness and fulfillment, you need to break free from this cycle of comparison. It's easy to feel like you're falling short when you're constantly bombarded with images of success, beauty, and seemingly perfect lives. But what if I told you that the key to your personal growth lies not in measuring yourself against others, but in embracing your unique journey? In this video, we'll explore powerful truths about expectations, disappointment, and the importance of focusing on your own path. We'll dive into the common pitfalls that can lead to dissatisfaction and uncover strategies to cultivate self-acceptance and resilience. So if you're ready to transform your perspective and learn how to stop comparing yourself to others, stay tuned. Let's embark on this journey together. 1. People will let you down. Have you ever felt that rush of excitement when you put your trust in someone? It's that warm feeling of connection, of believing that they'll always be there for you, ready to lift you up when times get tough. It's comforting to think that we can rely on others, isn't it? But then, reality hits. A friend forgets your birthday, a co-worker undermines your ideas, or a loved one chooses their own path over supporting yours. Suddenly, that initial joy fades into disappointment and you're left grappling with the harsh truth people will let you down. This isn't meant to be a pessimistic view of humanity, rather. It's a reminder of our shared experience. We've all been there, sitting in silence after a betrayal, reminiscing about moments we thought were safe and secure. It's easy to feel nostalgic, remembering the laughter and shared dreams that seemed unbreakable. But life is not a fairy tale, and as much as we wish it could be, the reality is that human nature is unpredictable. We change, priorities shift, and sometimes, despite our best intentions, we find ourselves disappointed. So how do we navigate this landscape of broken expectations? Curiosity becomes our ally. Instead of wallowing in bitterness, let's explore why people act the way they do. What are their motivations? What challenges are they facing that we might not see? Understanding that others have their own struggles helps us to view their actions with empathy rather than anger. Life is complex and our relationships are a tapestry of intertwined experiences. By approaching disappointment with curiosity, we can begin to forge a path toward acceptance and resilience. 2. Suffering is inevitable. Imagine the high of achieving a long-sought goal, the thrill of finally crossing that finish line. It's euphoric, right? But what follows? Inevitably, life brings challenges that can overshadow those moments of triumph. You may find yourself reflecting on the hardships that have shaped you, moments of heartbreak, loss, or even just the everyday struggles that wear you down. It's easy to focus on the happiness of success, but what about the suffering that comes with it? As you look back, it's natural to feel a pang of nostalgia for the simplicity of those earlier times when life felt more straightforward. You might remember carefree days, the laughter of friends, and the absence of heavy burdens. Yet those moments of suffering are essential to our growth, molding us into who we are today. They teach us resilience and the importance of pushing through adversity. Each scar we carry tells a story, a testament to our strength and ability to endure. This brings us to a crucial question. How do we respond to suffering? Instead of viewing it as a hindrance, let's cultivate a sense of curiosity about our struggles. What lessons can we extract from our pain? Every setback can be a stepping stone an opportunity for growth. By examining our challenges through this lens, we can transform suffering into a tool for self-discovery and empowerment. It's not about avoiding pain, but embracing it as a vital part of our journey. 3. Not everyone will like you. 
picture this, you walk into a room and instantly you feel the energy shift. Some people smile, others look away, and you can't help but wonder what they think of you. The hope that everyone will adore you is comforting, but it's also a fantasy. The truth is, not everyone will like you, and that realization can be jarring. It's natural to want approval and acceptance, but the more you chase it, the more elusive it becomes. Reflecting on past experiences can evoke a mix of nostalgia and discomfort. Remember those school days when popularity seemed everything? The thrill of being included in the in-crowd or the sting of exclusion when you weren't? Those feelings stay with us, influencing our adult lives in ways we often don't recognize. It's easy to fall into the trap of seeking validation from others, believing that their approval is a measure of our worth. But as we grow, we come to understand that true value comes from within. Now, let's explore this dynamic with curiosity. Why do we crave others' approval? What drives our desire to be liked? Instead of focusing on fitting into someone else's mold, we can shift our energy toward understanding our own strengths and weaknesses. Embracing our uniqueness allows us to build genuine connections with those who appreciate us for who we are, rather than for who we think we should be. It's a liberating journey that ultimately leads to greater self-acceptance and authentic relationships. 4. Expectations Lead to disappointment Think back to a time when you were excited about an upcoming event, perhaps a concert, a big family gathering or a vacation, the anticipation fills you with joy, painting vivid images in your mind of how wonderful it will be. But then, when reality sets in, things don't go as planned. Maybe the concert was a letdown, the family drama flared up, or the vacation turned into a series of unfortunate events. In that moment, disappointment hits like a cold wave crashing over you, drenching your spirit and leaving you questioning everything. This emotional roller coaster of anticipation, followed by disappointment, is something we can all relate to. It's that universal experience that connects us, regardless of age or background. You might remember being a child, eagerly awaiting your birthday party. You envisioned the cake, the games and the fun, only to have it marred by rain or a forgotten guest. Those moments remind us how tightly we can grip onto our expectations, only to have them slip through our fingers like sand. As adults, we often carry these expectations into our professional and personal lives. We expect colleagues to support our ideas, friends to always be there when we need them, and loved ones to understand us without needing to explain. Yet, time and again, we find that reality is much messier than the neatly wrapped gifts of our expectations. People are unpredictable, and life doesn't follow a script. The disconnect between our hopes and reality can lead to frustration and a sense of betrayal. But how can we navigate this turbulent emotional landscape? Stoic philosophy offers a powerful insight our distress often stems from our expectations rather than from the events themselves. Imagine attending a party with the hope of it being the best night ever, only to find it dull and uninspiring. Instead of feeling let down, what if you adjusted your expectations? Perhaps you could enjoy the simple moments, a meaningful conversation or a good laugh with a friend. The key to reducing disappointment lies in managing our expectations. Recognizing that people are fallible and life is unpredictable can liberate us from the chains of disappointment. Instead of viewing each unmet expectation as a failure, we can approach life with curiosity and openness. This mindset allows us to adapt and find joy in the unexpected, turning disappointments into opportunities for growth. So the next time you find yourself feeling let down, pause and ask yourself, what were my expectations and how can I shift my perspective? By adjusting our expectations, 
we can turn potential disappointments into moments of acceptance and appreciation for the unexpected twists that life offers. 5. Comfort is the enemy of progress. Comfort. It's a word that evokes images of cozy blankets, warm cups of coffee, and lazy Sundays. Who wouldn't want to stay in that comforting cocoon? Yet, as appealing as it sounds, the truth is that comfort can be a formidable barrier to progress. Think back to times when you felt stagnant, perhaps in your career or personal life. The allure of the familiar can make us hesitant to step outside our comfort zones, trapping us in a cycle of complacency. Nostalgia often surfaces when we think about the moments we've chosen comfort over challenge. Remember those late-night study sessions or grueling workouts that pushed your limits? In the moment, they were uncomfortable and tiring. But looking back, you likely recognize how those experiences helped shape your character and build resilience. Each step taken outside of comfort, each awkward conversation, every challenging project, was a step toward becoming the person you are today. Yet, as we navigate adulthood, it's all too easy to slip into routines that prioritize comfort. We choose familiar paths, stick to safe conversations, and avoid risks that could lead to growth. But here's the twist. True progress lies on the other side of discomfort. Think about it. Every achievement you've celebrated, be it a promotion, a new skill, or a healthier lifestyle, was likely accompanied by moments of discomfort. Those moments forced you to confront fears, develop new habits, and stretch your capabilities. Embracing discomfort can feel daunting, but it's essential for personal development. Instead of viewing discomfort as a sign to retreat, we can shift our perspective to see it as a signal that we are growing. Imagine approaching a challenging project at work not with dread, but with excitement about what you'll learn, or consider trying a new hobby that terrifies you, like public speaking or rock climbing, because you recognize that it's a chance to expand your horizons. How can we make this shift? Start small. Set challenges that take you slightly out of your routine. Try a new route to work, experiment with different recipes, or engage in conversations with new people. Each step outside of your comfort zone is a victory paving the way for bigger leaps in the future. In this journey, surround yourself with people who inspire and challenge you. Their energy can push you to go further than you might on your own. Remember, the goal isn't to eliminate comfort entirely. It's about striking a balance that allows for growth. When we embrace discomfort, we position ourselves for remarkable progress. 6. The world owes you nothing. Picture a moment when life didn't go as planned. Maybe you missed out on a promotion you felt you deserved, or a relationship ended unexpectedly. In those moments, it's easy to slip into a mindset where you feel the world owes you something, a favor, an opportunity, or a second chance. That feeling can be frustrating and isolating, making you question your worth and place in the universe. As you reflect on these experiences, a sense of nostalgia might arise. Think back to your teenage years, full of dreams and aspirations. You felt invincible, believing that with enough effort, the world would bend to your will. But life has a way of introducing harsh realities, teaching us that while effort is crucial, it doesn't guarantee outcomes. The world doesn't owe us anything simply for existing. It's a lesson that can be tough to swallow. This stark truth can provoke curiosity about how to reshape our mindset. Instead of feeling entitled to what we desire, we must recognize that our success depends on our actions and attitudes. Consider a time when you achieved something you were proud of. It likely didn't come without effort, setbacks and personal growth. The journey to success is often paved with challenges that require perseverance and determination. So, how do we shift from a mindset of entitlement to one of empowerment? Start by focusing on what you can control your attitude, your efforts, and your willingness to learn. 
Each day offers new opportunities to earn your place in the world. Instead of waiting for the universe to deliver what you believe you deserve, take proactive steps to create the life you want. Ask yourself, what can I do today to move closer to my goals? This shift from waiting to actively pursuing your desires can be transformative. It places you in the driver's seat of your life, encouraging you to take ownership of your journey. In this process, self-reflection is essential. Are there areas where you're waiting for someone else to make things happen for you? Are you relying on external validation? Recognize that your worth isn't tied to the world's approval. Instead, embrace the mindset that you have the power to create your opportunities through hard work, resilience, and a willingness to adapt. As you navigate this journey, remember that life isn't a gift shop where you simply pick and choose what you want. It's more like a gym where the rewards come from hard work, effort, and continuous improvement. The world owes you nothing, but you owe it to yourself to pursue your dreams and earn your place. 7. Honesty isn't always the best policy. Think back to a moment when someone told you a harsh truth, the kind that stings like a slap across the face. Maybe it was a friend critiquing your work, a partner voicing their dissatisfaction, or a family member reminding you of a past mistake. Initially, you may have felt anger or hurt, emotions that can bubble to the surface when we're confronted with raw honesty. Yet, as time passes, you might also feel gratitude for the insight, recognizing that honesty, while uncomfortable, can also be a gift. This emotional push and pull is relatable to many of us. We all cherish honesty, yet we've experienced how brutal truth can fracture relationships or create tension. It's easy to remember that moment of discomfort, the immediate reaction to shield ourselves, to deny, or even to retaliate. But once that initial sting subsides, we often find ourselves reflecting on the validity of the feedback, even if it was delivered poorly. However, Stoic philosophy encourages us to explore the nuances of honesty. The idea that honesty is the best policy can sometimes mislead us into thinking that unfiltered truth is always beneficial. Imagine telling a colleague your presentation was a disaster or a friend. You really shouldn't wear that. While these statements may be honest, they lack empathy and tact. The challenge lies in delivering truth in a way that promotes growth rather than inflicting pain. So how can we navigate this complex landscape? One approach is to practice the art of compassionate honesty. Before you speak, consider how your words might impact the other person. Instead of bluntly stating the truth, try to soften it with empathy. For example, rather than criticizing a co-worker's presentation outright, you might say, I think there are some areas we could improve together and I have a few suggestions. This way you foster an environment of collaboration rather than defensiveness. Additionally, timing and delivery are crucial. Sometimes people need time to process difficult truths. Rather than hurling them at someone during a heated moment, think about when and how you can present your feedback in a constructive manner. Remember, Honesty can be a powerful tool for growth, but it's most effective when wrapped in kindness and understanding. Moreover, it's essential to reflect on your own readiness to hear the truth. Are you open to feedback? Do you react defensively when confronted? Cultivating a mindset that welcomes honest feedback, however challenging, can transform your relationships and personal growth. It allows you to approach conversations with curiosity, instead of fear, creating an atmosphere where both parties feel valued. So the next time you're faced with delivering or receiving honesty, pause to consider the impact of your words. Embrace the notion that honesty doesn't have to be brutal, it can be a gentle nudge toward improvement, delivered with grace and empathy. 8. Failure is the path to success. Failure. It's a word that carries a heavy weight, 
conjuring images of defeat and disappointment. Yet imagine a moment in your life when you stumbled and fell flat on your face. Perhaps a project at work didn't go as planned, a relationship ended abruptly, or you failed to achieve a goal you worked tirelessly for. In that instant, the world feels like it's closing in, and doubt creeps in like a shadow, whispering that you're not good enough. But as you reflect on these failures, nostalgia might rise, reminding you of the resilience you demonstrated. Think back to that time you tried to learn a new skill, maybe playing an instrument or mastering a sport. The initial struggle was real, filled with missed notes or failed attempts. Yet each mistake was a stepping stone, not an end point. As you persevered, those failures transformed into lessons, shaping your journey toward eventual mastery. This emotional journey is universal. Everyone has experienced the bitter sting of failure, but the difference lies in how we choose to respond. Society often romanticizes success, painting it as a straight line, a fairy tale ending with no bumps along the way. But the reality is much messier. Success is often built on a mountain of failures, setbacks, and hard-earned lessons. Stoic philosophy encourages us to reframe our relationship with failure. Instead of viewing it as a dead end, we can see it as a crucial part of the learning process. Each time we fail, we gain insight into our limitations, our strategies, and our capacity for growth. Imagine approaching a setback not with despair, but with curiosity. What can I learn from this experience? How can I adapt and improve? For instance, if you bomb a job interview, instead of wallowing in disappointment, take the time to analyze what went wrong. Did you misjudge the company culture? Did you stumble over your words? Use these reflections to refine your approach for next time. This mindset shift can turn failure into a valuable teacher, guiding you toward future successes. Additionally, share your failures with others. There's power in vulnerability. By openly discussing your struggles, you create a community of support. You might find that others have faced similar challenges, and together, you can learn and grow. This sense of connection can help dismantle the stigma surrounding failure, replacing it with understanding and encouragement. Ultimately, failure isn't the opposite of success. It's part of the journey. It's a sign that you're pushing your boundaries and stepping into the unknown. Embrace it as a vital component of your growth story. Remember, the greatest successes often emerge from the ashes of failure, so don't shy away from it. Instead, Lean into the discomfort, learn from your mistakes, and let each setback propel you forward. 9. Dreams may not align with reality. We all have dreams, visions of what we hope our lives will look like, from career aspirations to personal milestones. Think about those moments when you close your eyes and imagine your ideal future. Maybe it's a thriving career, a loving family, or adventures around the globe. These dreams are like bright stars in the night sky, guiding us through life. However, the harsh reality is that our dreams often seem like distant galaxies, far removed from our current reality. It's easy to feel a pang of nostalgia as you reflect on your younger self, bursting with ambition and hope. Perhaps you remember sitting in class, daydreaming about the future, convinced that anything was possible. Fast forward to now, and you may find yourself grappling with the gap between those lofty dreams and the day-to-day -day grind of life. It can be disheartening, leaving you feeling stuck, questioning your choices, and wondering if you'll ever reach those stars. The contrast between dreams and reality can lead to feelings of disillusionment. Society often paints a picture of success that seems just out of reach, promoting the idea that achieving your dreams should be straightforward. Yet, life is rarely that simple. Challenges, unexpected detours, and responsibilities can pull us in different directions, making it feel like our dreams are merely whimsical fantasies. 
So how do we navigate this emotional landscape? Stoic philosophy offers a guiding light, encouraging us to accept reality without judgment while still nurturing our dreams. Rather than becoming disheartened by the disconnect between our aspirations and our current lives, we can learn to take practical steps toward bridging that gap. Start by re-evaluating your dreams. Are they realistic? Do they align with your values and current circumstances? Instead of viewing them as unreachable goals, consider breaking them down into smaller, actionable steps. If your dream is to write a novel, begin by committing to write a page a day. If you aspire to travel the world, start by exploring your local area. Embrace the notion that progress doesn't always mean a straight line. Sometimes it's a series of small winding paths leading you toward your ultimate destination. Celebrate the incremental victories along the way, recognizing that each step, no matter how small, brings you closer to your dreams. Additionally, cultivate resilience. Life's detours and setbacks can be frustrating, but they often carry valuable lessons. When faced with obstacles, instead of giving up on your dreams, ask yourself what you can learn from the experience. This mindset shift allows you to view challenges as opportunities for growth, rather than reasons to abandon your aspirations. Finally, surround yourself with a supportive community. Share your dreams with those who encourage and uplift you. Their belief in your potential can serve as a powerful motivator, helping you stay focused on your path, even when reality feels daunting. Remember, your dreams may not always align with your current reality, but that doesn't mean they're out of reach. Embrace the journey, adapt as necessary, and stay committed to the vision you hold dear. Life is full of unexpected twists, and sometimes the path to your dreams takes longer than anticipated, but every step is worth it. 10. Stop comparing yourself to others. Imagine for a moment that you wake up on a bright sunny day, the kind of day that feels like a fresh start. You brew your favorite cup of coffee, and as you sip it, a sense of optimism washes over you. You're ready to tackle whatever comes your way. With a smile, you open up your social media app, expecting to share in the joy of your friends' lives. Scrolling through, you see photos of adventures, promotions, and perfect family gatherings. Your heart swells with happiness for them. It's contagious, isn't it? But then, just like that, the wave of joy crashes against the rocks of reality. You glance down at your own life, perhaps a messy kitchen or an unfinished project, and suddenly that happiness shifts to a quiet, nagging feeling. Why don't I have that, you think? The joy fades, replaced by a sense of inadequacy that lingers like a dark cloud overhead. This emotional roller coaster is all too familiar. We're living in an age where our lives are constantly being compared to the highlight reels of others. That sense of camaraderie you felt while scrolling dissipates, morphing into self-doubt. You start to question your achievements, your choices, and your worth. Am I doing enough? It's a question that resonates across generations, from teenagers to those of us navigating the later stages of life. Think back to those formative years, whether it was high school, college, or the early days of your career. Remember standing in hallways, looking around, feeling like everyone else had it figured out. You might recall your own unique qualities, but in those moments they often felt overshadowed by the successes of your peers. Perhaps you were the shy kid in class, or the one who never seemed to get the spotlight. Those memories can stir up feelings of nostalgia, can't they? Now let's dive deeper into the core of this issue. Why do we compare ourselves to others? What is it within us that makes us feel inadequate in the face of someone else's accomplishments? Social media amplifies this phenomenon, showcasing curated versions of reality that leave little room for the struggles, the failures, and the daily grind that everyone faces. It's like a highlight reel on repeat, 
and we're left feeling like extras in a film we weren't even cast in. This isn't just about social media though, it's a human tendency ingrained in our very nature. From a young age, we're conditioned to seek validation through comparison. We watch our peers succeed and thrive, and it becomes a benchmark for our own lives. We might think, if only I had that job, or if only I looked like them. The grass always seems greener, doesn't it? But what if we flipped the script? Take a moment to reflect on your own journey. Each of us has faced challenges that have shaped who we are today. Those late nights studying, the relationships that taught us valuable lessons, the moments of sheer resilience when life threw curveballs our way. These are the experiences that define us, not the accolades or the Instagram likes. As we wander down this nostalgic path, it's essential to recognize the moments of growth that come from adversity. Those times when you felt like you were falling behind. They often catalyzed the most significant changes in your life. Maybe you took up a new hobby, invested in personal development, or strengthened existing relationships. Each setback serves as a stepping stone, guiding us toward the next chapter. Now, let's spark some curiosity. What if you could break free from the chains of comparison? What if you chose to focus on your unique journey instead of measuring your worth against others? Imagine a life where you celebrate your achievements, big and small, without the weight of external validation. Here's a thought. Instead of feeling envious of someone else's success, ask yourself, what can I learn from them? Instead of feeling diminished by their achievements, allow them to inspire you. The stories of others can be motivating if we shift our perspective. Instead of seeing them as barriers to our own success, let's view them as blueprints. If you've made it this far, drop a hundred in the comments. This shows you're part of the rare 0.01% who actually follow through and finish what they start. Remember, your journey is unique and every step you take is a testament to your growth and resilience. If you're serious about transforming your life and embracing your own path, make sure to join our community by subscribing to the channel. Let's continue this journey together, supporting one another as we strive for our individual dreams and goals. Your story is just beginning.